Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 7th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a space weather update, earthquake, and volcanoes. Having a look at the last 48 hours on our sun, 304 angstroms. Those two southern sunspots are pretty active. As well, we've got a solar tornado to talk about. Top left on the sun there. We'll have a closer look at that at multi-spectrum. But definitely going to be keeping an eye on these two incoming sunspots. Getting for an earth-facing position. Having a quick look incoming. We have another cresting sunspot or active region. And as well, large plasma tornado associated with it. Can't really see it on these images. Looking at outgoing no major events have been thwarted from the sun, neither towards us or away since yesterday's update. Another closer look at these active regions. We're back up into the B-class range. As you can see, a little bit of flaring there. Multi-spectrum. Watch the top left side. You'll see that plasma tornado coming around the sun. Get a closer look at it right here. Monstrous. Wow, and look at the heliosphere being affected by it. Amazing stuff coming out of Solar Dynamics Observatory. Looking here at 171 angstroms. That Earth-facing coronal hole has since diminished as it is turning away. No other coronal holes to talk about. Looking at ISWA, as you can see, same as yesterday. Looks like a double CME, though. Off the back side of the sun. A little bit updated since last night. Solar X-ray flux, as I said, up into the B-class range. Geomagnetic activity remains extremely low, but we're being smacked around by something here. Looking at the real-time solar wind, Right now, we're at about 400, or sorry, 300 kilometers per second. And look at this graph. We were being smacked around today by over 550 kilometers per second. Right, pretty much from this morning on. And looking at the geospace magnetosphere movie here, you can see how it is affecting our planet right now. That's our planet. The white side is the sun side. And the black is the dark side. Looking at the winds, the cut planes. The pressure is going to be on here really soon. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 13. You can see a big effect that's possibly coordinated, coordinated with the smack that we got from our solar winds. Amplitude of 13. Let's get to earthquakes here for the past 24 hours. This has been still very busy today. Started with a 6.6 .6 here in Jingjiang, China, followed by a 5.1. And no other aftershocks reported since as well. Not very populated area. 4.7 in Taichung, Taiwan. And as well, that deep earthquake there resonating still, I think, across the planet. Lots of 4.7s to 4.9s. Hi Hai Fo, Tonga, shallow earthquakes through Tonga and as well Kermadex. 5.1 and a 4.9 reported there. And then the Mid-Indian Mid Ridge, a 5.3. So lots of activity here, Indian Plate into the African Plate as well. A rare earthquake here to report Malawi, a 4.6 earthquake. They're also experiencing a lot of floods right now. And Kalula, Somalia, a 4.8 so definitely some action coming into the African plate today. South America seeing some action as well. Coco Chakra, Peru, 5.6 at 109 kilometer depth. And that's just west of Sabancaya, or sorry, um, Uluwan. Nicaragua seeing some aftershocks after the large 6.2 yesterday. Ranging 4.3 to 5.0. Across the United States, 
No major earthquakes to talk about or swarms, but a couple notables here up into Dillon, Montana, 2.6, 2.5, as well Deep Springs, California with a 3.0, still rocking. And as well, minor earthquakes off the coast of California and 3.2 to report there in Ferndale. Hawaii, pretty quiet today. Alaska, seeing a slight uptick in seismicity as well further, further northward. Have a quick look at the Kilauea Lava Lake as it was active and then drained again. Looks like it's uh, up and down, breathing its way, releasing pressure. Having a look around the world, that was for the past 24 hours. Now let's get a quick look at the last seven days across the planet. And we've had some shallower earthquakes as of late. But the 6.6 in China, 6.2 in Nicaragua, as well as 6.2 Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Stay prepped, stay aware and prepared. And stay tuned to daily events worldwide. Let's have a quick look at, at Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery as well giving you the most recent volcanoes getting updated today as we did update the Wolf Volcano in Ecuador, the Galapagos Islands. Most northern volcano has erupted today. But we've got about a dozen others to, to report. Looking here at Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Sangue in Ecuador, Suiza Najima, Japan, Nevadas de Chilean, Colombia, Sabancaya in Peru, the Wolf in Ecuador, Semeru, Indonesia, Popo in Mexico. Shevelich in Russia, Santa Maria in Guatemala, Era in Japan, and that's about it. So about a dozen volcanoes, and here's that large system that I forecasted here this week, heading through the North Atlantic, and is going to be affecting Northern and Eastern Europe. And same thing is developing here through the Pacific, my oh my. Well, let's get to the forecast the next five days, starting out here in Ontario, as we've got that big high pressure ridge coming in, but watch along the convergence line to bring some moisture with it and some really cold temperatures. You've got a moisture line along the convergence high pressure ridge that will be soaking most of southeast and northeast United States and as well Atlantic Canada watching this nor'easter dump quite a bit of snow across northeastern United States and then watch for those to race northward to Iceland and then over into Eastern Europe overlooking the west still high pressure ridge is blowing away so no systems coming in until Tuesday But look at all of these low pressure systems. There's about four or five low pressure vortices inside this one upper level low. Wow. I thought maybe the forecast would change, but boy, oh boy. Also, we got cooler temperatures that will be hanging around as far south as Arizona. You could see some snow there. Overlooking the Atlantic and most of Europe. High pressure ridge moving in, low pressure center heading through the Mediterranean will take its time moving eastward. And then look at this, we've got quite a big winter storm heading towards Finland, Sweden, and most of Eastern and North Europe, and then into Russia. Pretty big system here and as well as some very strong winds. Coastal regions, you're going to see some extreme weather and as well, most likely, heavy amounts of snow overlooking russia and china these cold temperatures have been lingering for quite some time it's all i can say very very cold over there as well we've got this big system coming out of the korean gulf 
that will be engulfing most of Japan with rain and then snow on the backside. So big extreme weather event heading towards Japan right now coming out of Korea. Also expecting a lot of snow and heavy rains through northern Pakistan, up into Nepal. And some pretty cold temperatures coming down as far as Qatar. And you see all those blues heading into parts of North Africa? Oh boy, things are about to change. And then we get to Australia, Indonesia, Malaysia, daily evaporation rains. Australia, you've got an extreme heat warning coming this week for most of the country. Mostly central and northern, but parts of the southeast could see 45 degrees Celsius. And as well, you've got that possible tropical cyclone heading into the Northern Territory for Wednesday. Big potential cyclone here is still spinning through Fiji and Caledonia, right in the middle, heading southward. Most likely will be a named storm tomorrow, but today it is not. And then just these huge systems through the Pacific. They're getting bigger, they're getting more organized, and they're gathering their friends along the way. Same with daily events worldwide, and I want to thank everybody for joining this journey. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains heavy through parts of Venezuela this week. Africa, same thing. South Africa, you're going to see quite a bit of rain this week if you haven't seen enough already. Parts of Malawi are already uh, flash flood alerts. And as well, you're going to see daily rain through Madagascar, Cape Town, going to leave you here looking at the largest systems that are spinning on our planet right now and they are in the pacific ocean and as well you've got quite a big system heading into europe so extreme weather event for both japan and europe thanks for watching today this has been mike with daily events worldwide much love prayers for humanity still wear and prepared stay you Young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.